Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Electre and today we are doing another speed build on our island Huldra. In this video I'm going to take you on a journey to our Nordic folklore theme. So we are actually going to get into some of the myths and legend of the folklore. And I am very excited so this is going to be a bit of a spooky build or at least a spooky backstory. I am not very confident in how this build turned out but I did spend a lot of time on it so I thought I would make it into a video anyways. And okay, it, it's not that bad, but yeah, you'll see at the end of the video. I just, I'm not that good at this kinds of builds, which you'll probably see. Anyway, today we are going to talk about the Nottmare, which is the origin of the word nightmare. So yes, that's what I mean, that this is going to be a little bit more spooky. <laughs> there is not a specific fairy tale that this not matter is about so i'm just gonna talk a little bit about the general myths and legends and then folklore and folk beliefs about what the not matter was and maybe i will even educate you a little bit at least i think the story is quite interesting <laughs> and i will also try to explain a little bit about how i use this to inspire this build i'm currently making <laughs> Overall for this build I'm going to be making a little forest cottage that is kind of abandoned because I would have imagined that the Nottmare has been here and done her work. <laughs> so I could have just used a villager house and decorated that instead but I thought for an island it is more interesting with decorating the exterior so that's why I tried to make a house inside on the island outside okay that probably doesn't make any sense but anyway i'm going to talk a little bit about the Nottmare. <laughs> the Nottmare has many names and it's also a part of a lot of different folklores from around of europe it is most known as a supernatural being in nordic mythology but it's also a part of of german folklore and slavic folklore and stuff like that so it's not just for the nordic folklore <laughs> In English, you can also call this just a mare, but it has many names. But overall, it's some sort of female demon. And in Norwegian, you also describe her as a witch or a troll. But overall, she's a supernatural being that is coming to torment you while you are sleeping. She is known to torment sleeping people and animals, especially horses, by pressing on their chest, sitting or riding on them while they are sleeping. They can also be sitting in trees, and as I said earlier, they are the origin of the word nightmare and having uncomfortable dreams because she is, you know, tormenting people in their sleep. <laughs> The word to be ridden by a mare is also a all cultural explanation of sleep paralysis, which if you don't know what that is, it is when you are fully or partly unable to move your body and you can often see or hear hallucinations, which giving you a sensation that you are awake in a nightmare. <laughs> And an also little interesting side note that I didn't know about before I started researching this is that she is also the origin of something called Marefletter or Marefloker, which is a hair disease called Polish plate. So apparently they thought that the mare could also come during the night and mess up your hair. <laughs> I'm going to try to explain how a mare is born or made, but it's um, it's very strange, so bear with me, and this might be a TMI, I don't know. <laughs> but in old folklore, it is believed that she is a ghost of a old maiden, and that this faith was cast upon her as a curse or that it could be the result of a very special birth. And this very special birth is indeed very special. A hard birth in the old times, in this article I'm reading, it could be apparently get started easier with that the woman giving birth could go through the amniotic sac of a baby horse. I don't ask me any questions. And when the child then was born, it will either be born as a mare if it was a girl, or it would become a werewolf if it was a boy. I don't make the rules, and I, I am just as confused as you are. <laughs> 
Nerus has been described through history numerous of times and I will try to translate some of these occurrences. One of them is from a priest from the Faroe Island called Hamishaib. I'm not completely sure how you say his name. And he described the mare like this. <laughs> when people are lying and sleeping, she comes and lies herself upon you and pressing hard on your chest. She presses so hard you can either run nor escape. She tries to put her fingers in the human's mouth to count their teeth. If she succeeded with this, you will die immediately. Therefore, you have to make sure to get her away, and then you must scream as loud as you can, Jesus! Then she has to run. <laughs> you have to be awake to see the mare. When she comes and lays upon people, you can't do anything to defend yourself against her. A good way to prevent her from coming into your bed is to set your shoes in the evening by your bed so the heels are up against the bed. Then she's gonna have a really hard time to climb into the bed. <laughs> So that's one way to describe a nightmare. <laughs> Another guy named Hulberg was a teacher from Voss in Norway and he wrote in his memoirs that he was very troubled by this illness. He describes that he was trying to do everything he could to fight this illness and he also mentions that he has to set his slippers with the heels towards the bed and also to put steel under his pillow and sing the song that was used by Peder Pass Time. But eventually he just gave up and moved away from Voss to get healthy. <laughs> I'm also gonna read you a short story that is from the Norse Yglinga Saga, which is from the 13th century. King Van Landi Svegoson of Uppsala lost his life to a nightmare conjured by the Finnish sorceress Huld or Hulda, her island name, wow, hired by the king's abandoned wife Drifta. The king had broken his promise to return within three days and after ten years had elapsed, the wife engaged the sorceress to either lure the king back to her or failing that, to assassinate him. Van Landi had sacredly gone to sleep and he complained that the nightmare rode him. When the man held the king's head, it rode on his leg, on the point of breaking. And when the retinue deceased his feet, the creature fatally pressed down on his head. So the Nattmare is not something you would like to come across. I hope that what I have tried to explain about the Nattmare or Nightmare has been somewhat easy to understand. Overall, I think it's a very cool legend and I also think it's very fun that this creature from Nordic mythology as well as other mythologies as well, but that this is like the origin of nightmares or the word nightmare. So that's why I wanted to dedicate a build towards that on this folklore island. <laughs> and at this point we are already finished with building the outer shell, you could say, of the cabin. So I used all of these storefronts, as you can see, to make something that will look like cabin walls. And then I used this wooden path designs to look like broken wood floor. <laughs> And this is mainly why I was a bit unsure if I like this build or not, because I feel like this build is a little bit strange and in my head I wanted it to feel a bit different. I think the reason I'm a bit unsure is because the background wall doesn't look the way I wanted it to. I was hoping to make it look more like a roof, but it was a bit difficult so this is what I had to work with. <laughs> And also the front is a bit um, questionable because I wanted to have it closed off but also make you able to see what's inside there. So anyway, it's okay. It's You have to experiment sometimes. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it turns into questionable builds. For the decoration of the interior, you could call it I guess, I just tried to make it look very Norwegian, very cabin-like, so a lot of wooden items and I thought the spinning wheel would give it a little bit of the old aesthetic. I don't know, I'm imagining an old woman living here or lived here. I'm not completely sure if this is even an abandoned build or if it's just gonna be a Norwegian cabin. <laughs> but I tried my best to make it a little bit spooky. And um, 
The main thing I think for this build that relates this to the fairy tales is that I put a pair of shoes next to the bed with the heels towards the bed so that the nightmare or not mother can't climb into the bed. <laughs> I think it's kind of confusing when I'm doing videos like this, when I'm switching between languages. It, it really messes up my brain and my brain is already scrambled enough as it is so that's not a good thing. <laughs> And I obviously couldn't put steel under the pillow, so I put a bunch of cans right next to the head of the bed, so that's some kind of steel next to the bed. Um, yeah, I don't ask me any questions anymore. <laughs> I think it also could have been nice to add some crosses or something related to Christianity, because for the Nathbara myths or legends, it changes a bit on where in time you are, so in the Nordic mythology there obviously was no god, it was the old uh, northern gods like Thor and all of that. So then it wasn't related to Christ, but as we heard from the other stories, you had to wake up and scream Jesus if you didn't want the nutbody to kill you. So it's very interesting to see how this legend has changed and adapted over time. Overall, we are finished with the cottage part of this build, so I'm going to try to hopefully make it look a little bit better by changing the area around it, because that usually helps, I think. Um, so I am terraforming a bit behind here so I can add some more trees, and hopefully that gave it a little bit of more of that cabin roof vibe i don't know or at least it kind of looked more like a mountain because i tried to make a more triangular shape at the top <laughs> i don't i just feel like i'm saying words at this point i don't even know know if i'm making sense but overall i want this island to be very foresty and natural and have a lot of natural scenery so i think that terraforming and trees and nature in general is going to be very important, so I try to include this in this build as well. <laughs> I didn't decorate this area to be super big for this build because I had already spent so many hours on just figuring out how I would even make a cabin. <laughs> so the area is not that big, but you know, I, I still think it's good. I also I think it's nice that it's kind of small because cabins are usually kind of small and if I want this island to be more of a old-fashioned island in like the 17th hundred or something like that, people in Norway at least were very poor so they didn't have that big and the luxurious houses and stuff like that, at least for the majority of people. There are always the nobles and people with money, but I wanted to make a vibe for the general people, I guess. <laughs> so I do think trees kind of help to make it look more like it, to make it look more like a roof, but you let me know. I'm never sure about anything. <laughs> I also want to talk a little bit about that we just reached 1,000 subscribers. Oh my god, this is so exciting, and it has taken us such a long time to get it here and i'm so happy that we finally did it though this doesn't mean that much for the channel yet i'm not going to get monetized or anything yet because i haven't reached all the goals that i have to to be able to apply for that so we're just gonna continue stuff like normal you know <laughs> i'm not gonna let the 1000 subscriber fame get to my head <laughs> i'm just kidding um but i think it's so amazing and i am so happy that we were able to reach this goal and i'm so happy that the last speed build i did got quite popular for my standards and uh, people really seem to like it so i'm very happy that people like the new island i've been kind of worried about that since the theme is quite strange and it's quite different from what i've done before but i am very happy that people are happy <laughs> If you're happy, I'm happy and everyone's happy, so that is just wonderful. <laughs> so if you're one of those new people that recently joined our little family, I am so happy to have you here. And I hope that the channel will continue to grow because I, you know, this is my hobby and I think it's so fun that people enjoy what I do and that makes things more motivating for me at least to know that it makes people happy to watch my videos and that it entertain people, you know? <laughs>
I mean, this is the way I play most games now, to record them and make videos about them. I don't think I would have played Animal Crossing that much if I wasn't making videos, but yeah, that's, that's what I have to say about that. I'm just very happy. <laughs> So now I'm going to add a little, another little very essential, still can't speak. I'm going to add another very essential little piece to this build and that is a open storybook. So for this Ellen I have a plan that every build that is related to a specific story, myth or legend or fairy tale is going to have one of these open books by the build so if you are visiting it later you will know that this is a build meant for something <laughs> if that makes sense um just a little touch i think will make ellen feel a little bit more true to the theme and a little bit more special i think but um yeah, that also means I have to contain myself and not put the open books anywhere else by accident. <laughs> but at least in this place I feel like it's quite obvious because it's on the outside that hello, this is a special place and we are opening the storybook and we are learning stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I have to say about that. So watch out for the storybooks or myths or legends books. I guess this is not just a story but you know what I mean. Overall, I hope this video has taught you a bit about Nordic mythology and about the Nachtmare and how it visits people in their night, presses on their chest and making them have horrible dreams and struggle to sleep and sometimes even kill their victims. It is very dark in this Nordic folklore stuff. <laughs> And I hope you have enjoyed this video as well and that you liked how the build turned out. I've not made a build like this before, so I'm still a bit unsure, but I hope you guys like it. <laughs> so, as usual, please like the video if you liked it so I know that you liked it and I can continue making more videos that you like in the future because that is what I want to do. <laughs> and also subscribe if you haven't done that already. We are always welcome to new subscribers and we are happily talking to you as well if you want to join the Discord, which is linked in the descriptions. It's open for everyone and it's just a nice place to hang around and get notified if I have something exciting to notify you guys about. <laughs> Mainly just like news about what's happening and how things are going with videos and stuff like that. And also sometimes maybe community events, I'm trying to plan something so let's see how that goes. And also come by the streams if you like watching streams. I'm streaming almost every Tuesday I think. <laughs> I think that's my schedule, I haven't like set it in stone. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything I have to say so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!